Howdy, my name is Timmy here with Sirius Power PC, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can update your NVIDIA GeForce graphics card drivers with GeForce Experience. This is a relatively simple process that shouldn't take you too long to do, and if your graphics card drivers are out of date, this can make your graphics card perform significantly better. If you've been noticing frame slowdowns or frame drops in gaming recently, this is a good thing to first check. But before we get too far into this video, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and leaving a like as well as subscribing, that would greatly show your support and show that you want to see more of our videos in your feed. Also, check us out at SeriousPowerPC.com if you have any PC building questions or needs. You can take a look at any of our pre-built options or request a build form for your next gaming rig. Without further ado, let's head straight to the PC for this tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is come here to Google and search for NVIDIA GeForce Drivers. Click on this right here, and this is going to take you to NVIDIA's website. Now you can do a manual driver search here, but what I highly recommend doing is downloading GeForce Experience. This will automatically update your drivers, and it will provide you with one place that you can look for drivers for your graphics card. You won't have to leave your desktop or anything like that. So go ahead and click on this download now. That will download the GeForce Experience application, so go ahead and open that. Now I went ahead and skipped the sign in phase because I would rather not give you guys all of my personal information. It's basically going to just ask you to create an NVIDIA account and so once you have this screen pulled up here, you can come over here to drivers. As you can see already, the NVIDIA Studio driver is available. You can select Express Installation, which will immediately start your drivers downloading. Okay, so OBS wasn't able to capture it, but all of my monitors turned off. This is to be expected when you update your graphics card. And as you can see here, the installation has finished. It updated our graphics driver and our HD audio driver. So if we click close now, we can check for updates and that will confirm that we have the latest NVIDIA Studio driver. We are going to double check the game ready driver. Ah, and as you can see, we did have some game ready drivers that were ready there. So make sure to click on this up here and select the game ready driver, even if it says that it is good there at the bottom, we're installing some new drivers. I did notice recently games that I was playing were performing a little bit slowly, specifically not the CPU, but the graphics card was running a little bit slow and dropping some frames and whatnot. So if you click custom installation, the express installation simply just installs everything really, really quickly, hence the express, but the custom installation allows us to have the different options. So the graphics driver, the physics system software and the HD audio driver. We are also going to perform a clean installation to restore all NVIDIA settings to default and remove any profiles we've created. We will go ahead and click install. I would yet again expect for my monitors to completely go black and turn off for a couple seconds while it finishes installing. So I will see you guys once this finishes installing. My monitors actually cut out twice because it was uninstalling previous software and installing new updated software, but as you can see, the graphics driver, the physics system software, and the HD uh, audio driver have all finished updating, so we can click on close, and then our game ready drivers are completely installed. This release date was 10.01, and the last time I did this was halfway through September, so yes, there is a new update. Once you're done installing your drivers, you can just close GeForce Experience, and you're all good. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for today's tutorial. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card and this tutorial wasn't able to help you, then leave a comment in the comment section down below. We'll be happy to reach out and help you fix the problem with your graphics card drivers. Be sure to leave a like if this tutorial helped you and subscribe if you want to see more of our videos appearing in your feed. Check out SeriousPowerPC.com and look at our affiliate program because you could win a free PC. Thank you all so, so much for watching this week's video. My name is Timmy, here with Serious Power PC, and I'll see you guys next week.